This is Alan Bush with ADMIS. In the stock index futures, we are seeing prices higher in the overnight trade. This in spite of mostly bearish economic news from the Eurozone. Also, we did have several nine o'clock reports which came in basically mixed, but yet futures seem to be responding very well to the news that we did have. In fact, even in the overnight trade with uh, mostly negative news, stock index futures performing well, that in itself should be viewed as a sign of strength. So nothing has changed in our long-term view for stock index futures. We are looking for more of the same. Continued strength is likely. And I think we can see higher prices from these already better prices this morning. Over in the foreign currencies, seeing the euro currency under some pressure. This after a report showing German business confidence declining. Also, we did have the pound higher, even though we did have weak inflation numbers in the UK. And we did have those consumer prices uh, in the UK falling uh, further below the Bank of England's target rate of 2%. The dollar index a little bit better, although it is holding the 80.50 to 80.75 major resistance area in the June US dollar index contract. And I do think that area will hold. Longer term, I think that we are likely to see lower prices for the dollar index as interest rate differentials remain bearish for the greenback. And in the interest rate markets, a little pressure this morning. We do have a lot of supply this week. We do have one Treasury auction today, another one tomorrow, and then another on Thursday. So once supply is out of the way from the Treasury, I think the main trend will resume, and that is to the upside also in the June Treasury bond futures, there is a double top at the 134 even area. So I think there's a possibility of some stops building above that market just based on the chart activity. So once again, after the auctions are out of the way, look for a new leg up, including new highs for the move in Treasuries. Once again, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.